we got London on the track. I'm in London, got my people. Thirty in my body, buzzing, 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 yeah. Oh, chopper on me, yeah, it's buzzing, 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 yeah. Oh, you ain't talking money, no discussion, discussion, yeah. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be talking about some. It's not beef, but it's like people are like the question came up of who is the king of R&B. So we've got Usher and Chris Brown in the lineup now. I'm going to talk about uh, everyone else's opinions from two different sources or two different social media outlets and then we'll get to my opinion later on but I would uh, it's going to be like a quick short little video but I want to read you off some of the comment on Twitter. <laughs> There's some I see mostly fans of Usher on Twitter. So what but one person wrote uh tweeted said there's a reason why Chris Brown was asked to do a tribute for Michael twice and not Usher. But then someone uh retweeted it and said Usher actually performed with Michael Jackson. So <laughs> it's one of those questions where you're like okay yeah like Chris Brown did like some tributes for him after Michael Jackson had died but like Usher like actually performed on stage with Michael Jackson and he I'm pretty sure Michael I'm pretty sure Usher uh also did a tribute for Michael at his funeral so and Chris never performed on stage with Michael which is kind of one of those things that everyone's like to be like even try and like fit in that category like Usher performed with Michael Jackson the so uh the king of pop as they say so it's just one of those things there's another one says there's not a song in chris brown's discography better than usher's superstar and that's a hill i'm willing to die on debate your mama <laughs> someone else said the confessions album alone would be anything that chris brown ever has now i've seen a lot of debates saying that because usher hasn't came out with anything in a while like that's like really popular really and Chris Brown has just like every year every year he has like some hit that's out that everyone's like jamming to and just like having not to hear the clubs and everything there was a comment on here I don't know if I screenshotted it but it said that I should have been doing uh his like musical career since 94 so that's like what like 26 years that he's been doing this and then someone else said well Chris Brown's been consecutively doing this for 10 years so but I think it's one of those generation things like you can't really compare maybe them to each other because it's just they both come from different generations. Like you have your 90s R&B and then Chris Brown's part of like the 2000s R&B. So it's something that you have to like think about when you're comparing the two of them. Some other tweets says Chris Brown just doesn't have the range that y'all think he has and no amount of 40 plus number of songs on an album will change that. Usher has perfect discography. Usher can only can not only dance, but he can actually sing. His mic is on. Oh, Usher has range. I heard some comments saying that uh, Chris Brown sings like, like lip syncs, especially when he's like doing like dancing on stage and everything else like that. And that he like, I guess, and Usher doesn't. And Usher actually really like truthfully sings. Cause I think auto tune and lip syncing became more of a thing in, the, in our generation where you see a lot more lip syncing and not lip syncing and not as many people performing live like they should or not like they should but like you see more people just lip syncing their songs there's more auto-tune now people's voices live don't sound the same like you hear someone's voice on the radio and then they'll go ahead and sing the song live and it's very it can be very different that's on twitter but on instagram i'm seeing chris brown would sweep the floor with usher period there's no need for a conversation dancing wise hit wise song wise and everything in between. Uh, and someone said, y'all keep mentioning Confession, but Chris brings, brings hit every album, if not the whole album, stop playing with him. Uh, here we go. Another one said, uh, here we go. Chris Brown is the GOAT, period, end. Uh, stop it, stop it, stop it. Respect to Usher, but Breezy for the win. Stop playing with Chris Brown. I love me some Usher, but Michael Jackson and Chris Brown is a legend and a story. So I see a generation gap, I think more, People who are like they're in their like 30s and above, or like usually on Twitter, more like older. I think like older millennials who are on Twitter are very like Usher savvy, and then those who are 30 and below are more Chris Brown savvy. But they're both like 
two different I mean they're the same like millennial generation but I guess there's a different comparison where it's the younger millennial generation and the older millennial generation like I guess there's just a gap in between different things that they believe but there are some people on on Instagram who are uh, siding with Usher they said that they they do realize Chris Brown has only asked twice was only asked twice to do the Michael Jackson tribute because of his dance capabilities, not necessarily his vocal capabilities. I've seen a lot of people saying that Chris Brown is a really good performer and someone that's very entertaining to watch, but when it comes to vocals and music wise, people are going with Usher. So that's something else that people will have to address. In my opinion, <laughs> I'm Generation Z, so I'm just, I'm not even a part of the whole, I'm not even in the millennial spectrum, um, or like older millennial, younger millennial. I think that Chris Brown has had like good hits and everything else like that, and so has Usher, both sides, regardless of like how long each of them has been in the game. Um, but I think that some of Chris Brown's songs have started to sound more mainstream and just kind of like repetitive not like repet well not repetitive but like more mainstream you know what I mean like it sounds like something you've just like everything you've heard before like they keep using like, the same type of beat same type of emoji it's just like something you've like heard before which is like super popular with our generation now like we like songs kind of that sound the same have the same type of like beat to it and something that we can easily like move to and maybe not that much of like a change so I said I think that I saw someone that said that I think that by like 2011 or 12 that Chris Brown songs had started to become more mainstream and it wasn't really which is where they cut off his comparison to Usher and then I've seen other comments saying that uh, Chris Brown and Usher since they're in different generations shouldn't even be like compared that you should be pairing like Chris Brown with like Trey songs so that's a whole other story but for the king of R&B, in my opinion, I like, I think I would, have to, I would have to go with Usher, even though I'm Gen Z and it would make more sense for me to go with, uh, <laughs> What? But we like Usher. Oh, I guess he doesn't. I don't understand the attitude. <laughs> Like R&B is supposed to like get you in your emotions, get you in your feelings, just get you like, you know, when you're like going through like breakups or just like relationships or just something for you to like really like get your emotions out through. I feel like I feel like you have a deeper connection with Usher rather than Chris Brown. I'm not saying Chris Brown doesn't have any like good songs. He has good songs, but I just feel like Usher's I love his Usher's Confession album was like amazing. <laughs> And it's just, that's just something that like, and I know people are saying like, okay, you play Usher's Confession album, like, well, what else does he like have? He has many like hit songs after. And I saw something on Twitter where they like named off all of their songs together. And I mean, people are going to be biased, like regardless of like what they see. So, hold on. Okay, no, but I saw on um, Twitter that there are some songs, someone already did like a versus is like, and put some of their songs together uh, saying like, this song would be Usher, this song would be Chris Brown, this song would be this one, this song would be this one. But when I think of R&B, I have to think about just like the emotional appeal that I would get from it. And I understand there are like hits out there like, oh, well, this person has so many hits now, so they can even compare. But there's a difference between someone having like, hits that have like reaching like number one on the billboard charts and stuff like that than before like talent 
And so, and they're both very talented. And like I said, I think Chris Brown would be like a Riz, a really good performer. But when it comes to people are talking about just like music, because everyone's saying just play the songs. And when it comes to music, I think Usher is a better lyricist and vocalist. In my in my opinion, my brother will fairly much disagree <laughs> with my opinion. He's very he likes Chris Brown a lot. Everyone has different opinions, so. But uh, on Twitter, people on Twitter, mostly millennials, who were saying that they're for Usher, and then people on Instagram, uh, I got the comments from the Shade Room, are saying that they're more for Chris Brown. So it's either or. It's kind of like whichever generation you're a part of, or like, no, not generation, but like whichever, like, well, if you're older millennial or younger millennial, that's who I mostly see talking about this. It kind of depends on what, who you're choosing as the king of R&B. But, uh, I hope you guys liked the video. Like, subscribe, comment down below who y'all think the king of R&B is. If you don't think it's either, even if you don't even think it's Usher or Chris Brown. I don't know really who else you try and put in that category but um whoever y'all think or maybe some other like kings of or queens of things that you guys uh want to talk about i know just chris jacquees came out and said that he was the king of r&b a little bit ago don't know about that one but <laughs> uh i love you guys see you later bye Secrecy, you don't know what that means to me. Everybody got they low points. Feel like everyone needs to bleed. I don't have no reasoning. Someone come and set me free.